Drew, he found was the snack guy's son, and when it's time for a refill, he'd come along. When the truck came and started unpacking, that's when Drew, he would take me snacking. New Doritos that make my lips smacking, then he'd make me close my eyes. Lord knows to my surprise, the, the only, only chip who could, could ever reach me was the one from a condiment. The only dude that could ever teach me was the son of Dorito Man. Yes, he was. He was. Ooh, yes, he was. Tasting good isn't always easy, no matter the bags I tried. When he started chip talking to me, he'd give me ketchup, say everything is all right. Slip me mustard, say everything is all right. I'm all into Frito late at night. Cause the only chip who could ever reach me was the one from a condiment. The only dude that could ever teach me was the son of Dorito Man. Yes, he was. He was. Oh, yes, he was. How well I remember the looks when we're dining fine. Wiping crumbs off of me on the sly. Taking time to make rhymes, Dorito dust making hands grime, singing with each other, chowing, ketchup and mustard, we've been plowing and the, the only dude, dude who could, could ever teach me, he was the chip talking son of Dorito man, the, the only chip who could, could ever reach me, was the son of Dorito man. Hi. Welcome to Fine Dining. I'm Jin. And I'm Drew. Today we're going to try something new and let you know whether the dining is fine or should be left fine. So it's on the menu. So today we have Doritos. Doritos. We have two different flavors. This is a double review. We've never done a double review before. This is Doritos Tangy Ketchup. And and Doritos Hot Mustard. I think this is the most excited I have ever been. They are, as you can see, Beautiful. evocative <laughs> of their, they're the correct colors. Yes. Mustard, yellow, ketchup, red. <laughs> so I have a story to tell. Let's hear it. All right. So when these came out, they were only at Dollar General. Well, they may not have been only at Dollar General in the country, but here they were only at Dollar General. Yep. At the time when they first came out, I had to go to three Dollar Generals to get both of them. And I came home and I told Drew, they're running a racket. They're running a racket at DG. Jen knows what's what. Because I went to the one that was closest to our house. They had the ketchup one. I was like, hey, them, them. And I'm looking around and around, and there's no mustard ones. And so I was like, do you know if you have the mustard ones of these? And the guy was like, no, no, I don't. We just got those. You know, I'm not sure, but we don't have anything else. Maybe we'll get them later or whatever. So I went to another Dollar General. Oh, wait, I need to interrupt the story for a moment because uh -huh. at that moment I said, you should get that because they've got it. It's a bird in the hand. What if they don't have it at the other store? But Jen was like, no, I'm such an optimist that I just know it's going to show up, both of them, at the next store. <laughs> and so I went to the next store, and guess what they had there? They had the mustard ones, and they didn't have the ketchup ones. So... Then I started to kind of what listen to Drew, and I got them. I got the mustard. That was the right move. One of the other reasons why I say they are running a racket is because they had them for two for six. Yeah. See what I mean? You got them for the three dollar price if you bought them together only. Except they didn't. You had to buy the other. Like if you, if I were, if which I ended up doing. If I bought the mustard ones by themselves, they were the full price, not the $3 price. We got boned. Yeah. So, but I did buy the mustard ones from that one and then went back and got 
the ketchup one, so we would have both. Right. So we could tell you. So there's a happy ending, at least. We have both of them. <laughs> full. <laughs> full. Full fries. Now we'll hate them. <laughs> so, okay. So, but we really are excited about this because this is just, I don't know, promising. Yeah. It's, it's kind of promising. Okay. So, I think for some reason we should try the ketchup first. I'm, I'm for that. Okay. They're, they're they're prettier. Because when I say the two condiments, I usually say ketchup first. I hardly it's ever say mustard. put mustard and ketchup on my hot dog. I would well, I wouldn't say ketchup on my hot dog. Oh, no, right? We no, already no. had that. We covered that. But I'm saying I wouldn't say put mustard and ketchup on my burger. I would say put ketchup, ketchup mustard. and mustard on. It's like though it's cookies and cream. Nobody says cream and cookies. And... <laughs> right. Okay, so grab one. Yeah. I'm going to get one with lots of good dust. Yeah. There. Dust Central. Woo. Yeah, nice, huh? These are beautiful. They are. Smell vaguely tangy. Yeah. Ooh, ketchup vibe. Mm-hmm. Ketchup powder. Yeah, let's go. Okay. These make me happy. They are tangy. <laughs> and they are good. They're living up to their name. They are. Okay, so... Tangy sweet ketchup. Yeah, this is this is totally a product that would exist in Canada and not here. It's, yes, I'm so happy that they did this here. Mm -hmm. It's like it's funny because Doritos are delicious, and now they're bringing like the original Cool Ranch and the original Nacho Cheese are wonderful. But this is nothing like that. Like they're this is a totally new kind of. Mm -hmm. It's almost like an Asian store. Mm -hmm. It's got. Lots of flavor, lots of tang. I still get the underlying corn chip. I could definitely eat those. Oh, yeah. I'm going to. See you another one? Yeah. I still had one. Oh, I'm going to have this little bit. Now it's not bad that we paid full price. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's good. You know, it's you actually kind of much better than I thought it was going to be. I know. I mean, I had hopes, but. We had ketchup flavor and Oishi fries that we were into. Yes. Like ketchup flavor things are good. They always say, if I'm, Canada has a racket on these ketchup flavor chips, and I'm so glad they're bringing them here because we need more ketchup flavored things in our life. Ooh, no, I'll smelled. I was just smelling them. I, they don't smell very strong. No, they smell. Them? A, a little bit like dried mustard. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to try them? They're very yellow. Want to go right in there? Whoa. <laughs> that is a punch in the face kind of flavor. Yes. In a good way. Like wasabi, horseradish, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Chinese. Yes. It tastes like Chinese mustard. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is very good. That is surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. A little burrito dust. Okay. You just see so. off camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those are... You just don't get a lot of snacks with that much flavor on them. Right. Usually they go safe and mild because they want to appeal to the most people ever. This is going to, people are either going to really like these or really hate them. And if you don't like Chinese mustard, you probably wouldn't like these. No, definitely not. Okay. So just remember from what I said, what the title of them, it's called hot mustard. So that makes sense. Right. Hot mustard. You think of like a Chinese mustard. Right. That's what it's kind of like eating it gave me that fear because when I eat hot mustard or wasabi, sometimes it gets and you get that burn. And yeah. It goes too far. <laughs> it goes in your nose a little. Right. And it makes you cry. But this is giving all the flavor of that without the torturous pain. <laughs> yeah. So that's nice. Okay. And they're so pretty and they look so pretty together on the plate. Hey, they look pretty together. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We're great minds. Got to eat it together. So yes, it, it uh, really, it begs to right. be eaten together. They released them together. They know. They know. Not, I mean, they were making me go all around to those Dollar Generals because they knew that I wasn't going to get one without 
other. Right. Right? So I'm going to pick two of the same kind of like... Shape. Yeah. Or are you going to match them? Well, not exact shape, but size-ish. Got it. All right. So I've got two that are similar. Triangle. Now, I will say right away that the mustard ones are stronger, a stronger flavor than the ketchup. Definitely. It's probably going to dominate. But if you think about it, that's true of the r- actual the real condiment ketchup, too, yeah. which is probably why kids always have ketchup on all their stuff and not mustard. Or if it's more of an adult taste. Okay, I, I am gonna eat like this whole thing. So mind you, I'm going to just eat all of it together. Okay, it's gonna be yeah. crunchy in a second. Okay, totally works. Mm-hmm. You get both flavors. Mm. The, the ketchup didn't get lost. I still tasted it in there. Mm-hmm. Me too. Remember, my piece was bigger than yours. Uh, my triangle was huge. You could... Okay. What you should totally do is serve these together in a bowl. Yep. Mix them up. Don't you think? Best of both worlds. They are great together. Yeah, that's weird. They're great individually. They're great together. This is a home run. We have to give it, we didn't rate any of these. Okay, but we're going to give three different three ratings. Three different scores. Of, mm-hmm. ooh, this is going to be tricky. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so let's let's rate the, let's give the ketchup ones a rating first. Okay. Okay, ketchup, I'm going to give. <laughs> ketchup, I'm going to give a nine. I'll agree. Oh, we're going to give the same score. I see what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen here. But yes, it's a nine. I think the mustard is a nine Nine and a half. (laughs) (laughs) I knew. If you put them together. 9.75. Yep. Because it's very difficult to get a 10 around here. I don't even know what a 10 is. If we hit 10, we'd have to retire and hang it up. I'm sure there are 10. I mean, that's as close to a 10 as you can get. It's just the, that's amazing. These are wonderful. I gave a slight edge to the mustard over the ketchup, but really they're both great. I I mean, the mustard one is what you're in the mood for. Right. It's more charismatic. It's more flavorful. So Mm -hmm. as long as you like both flavors, all things equal, the mustard slightly. But yeah, (laughs) 9.75 for both. I knew. If you have a crowd that likes both mustard and ketchup, especially spicy mustard, hot mustard, putting it together in the bowl is the is the way to go. Yeah. So the humble ketchup and mustard condiments yeah. made great Doritos. Who would have thought? Yeah, it's like the least sexy flavors. Like ever. it's not like you know the yeah it's not the ones that bring out the people like elote or queso or truffle oh yeah truffle is like the it the go to truffle is very fancy hmm. but this is humble simple yes. and perfect it's... yes really good really really good th- th- this is like also soup like perfect summer food yes even though perfect summer food but hey doritos Keep this yes. permanent. Put this on the permanent rotation. Yes. Do not discontinue. And I should admit, maybe I shouldn't mention this or should mention it because I don't know if they have them anymore. But they did do a barbecue one. Oh, a barbecue, barbecue Dorito. Yeah. Those were good. Mm-hmm. They've been really hitting it lately. Yeah, Doritos were Frito Light, man. Yeah. The Doritos have been really doing well. And these. I can't believe them. I just <laughs> it's, a, believe it's like them. a dream come true. Yeah. This, exactly. this might be the biggest rave review we've ever done. <laughs> it's crazy. Which is good because this review is probably 48 minutes long. Yes. So we are giving our endorsement here at Fine Dining to the tangy ketchup and hot mustard Doritos. Especially to get.